Well, here in Malta, Montana, close to 300 attendees came to listen, give, comment, and learn about the draft environmental impact statement that deals with the subject of bison. And some groups want to see bison roaming the West, but agriculturalists fear for the sustainability of our natural resources and the future of agriculture in this region if bison are introduced. We've held three public hearings so far, one in Bozeman, Billings, and Great Falls. Uh, attendance was pretty low, actually, at all three of those. We had the highest number of attendees in Bozeman, and that was 28 folks. And comments have been relatively mixed. Um, there's lots of concerns. We're very happy to hear comments that are specifically targeted to the alternatives that we've proposed, as well as um, comments that include specific concerns. Uh, we do not take questions or respond to comments during a public hearing meeting, but uh, we are particularly asking folks to write their comments in as well. It's hard to capture everything, as you know, when you're hearing from someone. Um, so we ask folks to write their comments in, and there's a number of different ways they can do that. Well, I, I think it's important that this is a public process. Um, you would hear from some of the folks that it's been going on far too long. Um, it should have been stopped long ago, but then you'll hear the other people has gone on far too long. Why haven't you done with bison somewhere? Well, when you get an issue like this, it takes time to work it out. And part of it may be bureaucracy, part of it may be politics, but this administration that I work for and all of the agency works for right now made it very clear that they want us to go through this process with a programmatic, not identifying a specific site. That would come later if, if the alternatives were chosen in that manner. But what we're trying to do is scoping comments to get from people that what are really the biggest concerns that maybe we've missed and aren't described in this programmatic? What other things need to be addressed there? Many at the meeting in Malta felt the Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks has in fact overlooked the risks of bison reintroduction from disease and management standpoints to the future of rural America and agriculture in the region. No action plan is important because the economies of the small rural communities are very uh, dependent on agriculture and the, the bison would be displacing cattle, especially in counties like Phillips County where we have a lot of public lands. And so they, they would just, it would be very hard on our economy if our cattle were displaced with bison. Well, I, I don't think it's just our region that we have to worry about. I really think statewide, everyone needs to, to uh, go on the website, the FWP website, read the EIS because it, it can apply anywhere. I mean, we're kind of the target audience, but you, any county, any area could end up in this process. You know, this is the process. This is the, the environmental impact statement process. What we're gonna hear tonight are people's opinions. They're gonna comment, but we really need to get comments in there, yes or no, whatever you agree. I would hope if, if we sit back and don't make comments, then we could be the dinner at the dinner table and uh, be the meal, and we don't wanna be that. We want to be heard. We want people to use common sense and, uh, and keep, uh, things as we know it today. Um, I, I like buffalo, I'm not against them, but I can go view them anywhere in the state and I just, I don't see them as a free roaming wildlife. We cannot have that animal as wildlife. And it was plain to see that the agricultural community of Malta overwhelmingly was in support of a no action plan when it comes to the bison EIS. Now this is a grassroots movement to ensure a sustainable future for our agriculture and our natural resources. Reporting for the Northern Ag Network, I'm Lane Nordlund.